one light, two light, three light, four light, five light. And it's pedal to the metal and away we go here in Belgium Spa. Great start there from Johnny Stokes. One tries to go around the outside of him. Deep in the two. Turn one goes Alex and he goes round the outside of the Ferrari. Making a place up already to go single file on the approach of O'Rouge and Radio. Let's contact at the back. I saw definite. Oh, maybe that was a bit of lag. Maybe not. Great start from everyone involved. No damage. It's very nice to have by Rouge. Avi, poor start. Down in ninth, 16th place already. That's really poor from him. As we're seeing a free wide battle potentially. Look at these four. It's like watching the Singapore Grand Prix. These four running away with it already. Moylan leading the way. Johnny Sosa second. Alex in third. Chubb in fourth. McLarens are losing to the Haas. But GGC is right behind the Haas boys right now. Mr. Carl and Ali Difa. Oh, I say that. Ali Difa's gone round. He's out of the race. That could be a safety car. He's right on the racing line. And it is. Safety car come out early. That could be a chance there for Alex to pit. Maybe he does pit, obviously, back off the grid for him. And all on the medium tyres from first to ninth place. And there we go. Moylan has gone. Has called Chubb out a little bit there, actually, saying that. The gap massive as Chubb loses out a bit of time. This is a great restart there from Moylan. Nearly gap in a second. Oh, Johnny gap in a second nearly on Chubb. And there we go. Fantastic restart from Moylan as he starts the race after lap six. Fantastic start, but he's being chased down by Cherry, who looks to make the move on the inside. Late on the brakes, GDC, as Cherry makes the move down the inside. Fantastic, as GDC has to be forced wide a little bit, and Cherry's into the wall. That could be a place that's definitely a wing damage there on Cherry. GDC could sit open in here as they go around Puyong. He does. Can Rob follow him round? Forced wide there, probably accidentally by Cherry, as he's going to be facing a lot of understeer with that wing damage and he goes way off into the distance and Rob up into seventh. Oh, he's looking around. Rob smarts to acknowledge that. Bit of contact there. That could have been nasty for both drivers. DRS able for both. And it's late on the brakes of Alex as he's fantastic stopping power there on that Alpine. That was unreal. Well done there. Great overtake from Alex. Yellow wing as Chubb dispatches Frenzy and is on the charge. As you can see, right ahead of him there, Avi's very much struggling on these tyres. He's round. That could be a safety car again if he's hit the wall. How has he avoided the wall? Unbelievable. And slowed down. Alex, it doesn't look like he's going to try, really. Well, actually, late on the brakes there from El Stefano. He's trying to stand down a little bit. Doesn't want Alex to have an easy time help his teammate out obviously he knows that Alex has pitted twice and technically is provisionally first at the moment oh it's a great exit there from Alex as he's already passed El Stefano El Stefano will have DRS as detection point is just gone past us so can El Stefano come back at the Alpine overtake being used DRS on the long back straight and look at the speed Ridiculous speed there from the Red Bull. And he's already back up ahead. It was like the car was in fast forward. Great battle here. And Johnny's got a penalty as well. That's going to come against him later on. But Alex finally, again, bit of contact between the two. Has got past El Stefano. DRS being deployed. ERS being deployed. El Stefano defending the inside line. Late on the brakes. Who's going to come out ahead? Is the McLaren. Great battle. But GC's going to lose out again. El Stefano's really fighty today. I love to see it from El Stefano. They're still side by side now. El Stefano on the inside. Oh, a bit more contact there. El Stefano pushes him wide. And here comes Rob and the rest of the gang. Looking to try and make some moves. Rob. Right in the thick of it. As Erez and Chubb going side by side. Down the back straight. More contact there from the drivers. This could be nasty. Wheel bashing left and right. Speeding is the penalty. Again, a more bashing on the wheels. Chubb's gone for a send. And he's stint it too much. 
This is a great fight here. We're watching. They need to sit up a little bit. They're going to go three wide into turn one. Rob's going to get away a little bit. Got some breathing room. But here we go. Chubb on the outside. Oh, it's massive contact there. And he's sent Speedy into a wall. Who's retired from the race. That will be another full safety car. Wow, huge contact there. Alex is already trying to make a place up on the McLaren and does so very quickly. And it's what we're going to see now from Rob. He's going to be falling down the grid. And we're going to watch him side by side with Chubb. And Rob settles in behind. And look at the launch that Scotty gets. We're having a clean line around the outside. Oh, no. Close the door on him. That's good defense there from Rob. Oh, I missed, the, I missed the start. Sorry about that. Johnny getting Moyland. Johnny up in the first, Moyland in the second. I was too busy watching Rob. And here we go. We've got a battle for the lead on our hand for the first time in a couple of laps. Rob's gone round. He's full safe to VSC. VSC as Rob has lost it. And he's got no wing. And a five second for collision with Erez. That's the full safety car. Oh, here we go. Safety car has been put back in the garage. Johnny's taken the lead again. And he's already gapped Alex. Who got, got a bit caught out sleeping there. I've got to say. So now all eyes will be on Moyland and his fight to get back to the top. He'll be on the freshest tyres. Quite happily on freshest tyres as well. Whether he thinks that those softs weren't going to make it to the end. That's why he's pitted again. But if that's the case, Chubb is in a very good position for the, for the race win. And here we go, Alex defending all his might against the Ferrari. Oh, I think he's going to go deep there. i tell you what, I've got to say, Alex has been fantastic on the braking zone there. <laughs> Looks to be a great fight on the cards happening here. Look at the speed he's getting. Erez not wanting to fight that one, and he is through again. There's loads of places getting to say that, and Erez ticking down the inside, but Moyle on the inside line now will take that place. Erez seemed to let him pass there. I thought, no, do you know what? Nah. Coming to what is going to be his hardest overtake yet. Scotty, Johnny's teammate. How difficult is Scotty going to make this? Or can he have, has he ever even got a choice? He hasn't even got a choice in the matter. DRS sending him straight through. Scotty's rinsed his overtake, trying to stay ahead. And Moyland's actually what he made the easy overtake he's ever going to make. Places changed there. Chubb in the second, Moyland in the fourth. And Moyland what I said earlier with two laps to go is still looking very difficult for him he needs to get past these two drivers very very quickly look at the acceleration and the grip he's got there chooses the outside line here which is brilliant thinking because he's got the inside line for the next corner can Alex hold on no he can't we saw more make that same overtake against Erez one lap before he's mirrored that and he's now going to be within DRS of Chubb and potentially on for a race win but even getting the leader He's going to have DRS after Eau Rouge. Overtake being deployed. Look at the speed he's getting again. DRS wide open and he's through past Chubb and into second place. All he's got to do now is stay within three seconds. He's got the race win. As he charges down towards Eau Rouge. Overtake being deployed. You can see the flashing light there saying that Johnny Stokes is out of energy. DRS deployed, hit the fast forward button and look at the overspeed, 214 miles per hour and it's a simple move and Moylan on the last lap of the race has retaken the lead. Alex has gotten past Chubb, he's timed that to perfection, what can Chubb do now? We're going to watch this little fight and we are on board with your race winner, flashing with overtake, going for fast lap to boot as well. Brilliant race from him. I will eat my words yet again. But Moyland is your Belgian Grand Prix race winner. Can Johnny hold on to a podium? It won't be second. It will be third. Here we go for the final time tonight. Moyland is your race winner. Started in second. Won the race. Takes fast lap as well. 26 points. Yeah, you can share it. Why not? You share driver of the day. Drivers of the day were Red Bull. <laughs> Team of the day, Red Bull. Alex comes in second. Johnny Stokes in third with that penalty. Really put a number on him. 
Chubb with that mistake on the last lap, doing his best Russell impression, loses that on a podium, and but he does finish in fourth. Scotty it stays in fifth. El Stefano goes up into sixth, but well done, El Stefano, to hold on from fifth qualifying and only lose one place over the overall the whole race is fantastic, given this the strength of this field. Well done, El Stefano. Seventh place was Avi. Eighth was Erez. Carl was ninth. Rob is in 10 for them penalties he'd be picked up two seconds of penalty well, two three second penalties then we have Erez in 11th Dutch face in 12th and our DNF as a cherry GGC speedy and there was one other driver I can't remember his name <laughs>